Hey friends, welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and you can also call me Uncle. This is a channel where I talk about the Laravel and the cool thing about the Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. The important thing is subscription. Please subscribe. So in this episode, we are working on the seeding of the database and we have created obviously the 50 users in our table. Actually, we have created a 61 user in our user table and we want to create the same system, same 61 rows in our test table we have created in the last video so we want to create so let's see what we have in our database seeder we have this but actually we does not have any test model so let's just create the test model first so i will type php artisan make make test and it's good and we have the test model so let's try again the db seed so we have created but we does not have the factory so actually what happening is that we have created the model but we does not have the factory named of this app slash test so let's just create that here okay i will define a new by copy paste and here i will say and everything looks good but we does not want any password system yeah i want a name but I don't want any email here I will say let's delete this and I want str random of 2 for the user id user underscore id and I don't want this also and we have to make changes in our database table because we are on Laravel and we have to create the created at and update it at field here also so we have created save and let's see the result yeah it's good so we have created the factory also inside our model factory.php file so we have obviously defined that thing and we want the 10 rows okay let's see what happened when we use the db seed command and it will say that the level dot tests not found because we have not given it the tests so we have to make the changes in the name of the table so now it's good to go let's go and another field error id does not have default value okay that's good so for that we have to go to our structure and we want to change this and please use the <laughs> db migration system otherwise you will get this kind of error okay i have to delete this table also because it will giving me many of the errors so let's create a table tests uh, id so name will be worker created at timestamp make it auto yeah that's good one more that will be called updated at and that's good to go length 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 191 let's see yes let's go get we have yeah everything is correct so now again new error i found the integer value r e for column user id at row one so the error is here we are using the str random because it is creating the str that means a string of the two character but in our user in our user id field we have integer so we can change it to rand and starting from 0 100 create the number between this okay so now go here and click db seed and we have no error that means we have completed the command so now you can see we have obviously 10 users with the random of id and random name okay so you can see how much easy is to create the 
uh, seeding for any of the things but the next thing I want to show you uh, because we are using here only one command if we want to create the both things so let's uh, let's uncomment the user factory also and let's delete everything from tests table and from users table also uh, delete 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 check all delete yes okay now let's go click db seed and you can see here it also it is here also but the next thing is when i want to delete this and i want to create a new seeder so let's see what is seeder so i will say here make Cedar and cedar name is test cedar. So let's see what happened. So you can see here inside our seeds table, at seeds folder, we have the test cedar. This function has been created here. So inside this test cedar, what you can do, you can just define the thing you have defined inside here. So it will be very beneficial for you to separating each and every seeding. And now from here, I will say just call what test seeder. So now when you do the db seed command here, what it will do, it will just go to database seed and see it says this call test seeder so it will find the test seeder inside the seeds folder and if that uh, if if it find the test seeder class inside here then it will run this factory so it's going from here to there but don't worry it's not your work it's the work of level so you have to just define your factory inside your test seeder and call that that test seeder here so let's see seeding test seeder so obviously it's already seeds so let's see you have the 10 user and when i go and seed again so it has the more 10 user that means total of 20 users similarly what you can do you can create another user seeder where what it already have but we have deleted that so let's just create a new seeder so make cedar here the make cedar and i want user cedar so it's good user cedar we have the user cedar also and what we want we want to just create this factory thing inside this cedar of the user and i will say user also now go to the table and obviously just delete the data from this test table so that we can see the uh, rows created by the by the command so let's go in the users table let's see if this is empty or not not empty so let's empty it delete, delete. everything is deleted now go here use db seed and obviously we want you can see here it says seeding test seeder seeding user table so users also seeded and test also seeded now i want to seed only one uh, seeder that means i want to seed only the test user i does not want to seed the db uh, i does not want to seed the user seeder so what we can do we can just say here class of what class of test seeder seeder okay let's go here hit refresh what it says because we have to use here equal to not colon now it's good and yep we it does not have any error let's see we have the data up to 120 and that means 10 more user has been added now go to the users table and you can see only the 10 users are there obviously this has not seeded the user seeder okay so i think if you want to create a big project and you have the many of the data inside your table for testing purpose then you can use the seeding system and we have 
seen that it's awesome and it's very easy so if you have doubt in this episode or in any of my episodes so you can feel free to comment me feel free to message me on facebook and you can follow me on facebook twitter and instagram so that you can get latest update what's going on the bedrooms channel and don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe because this channel is awesome and i'm getting lots and lots of requests thank you guys for supporting bitfumes and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye